Hey guys, welcome to Back to Our Roots Homestead. I am over here. Um, but we wanted to start off by showing y'all the temperature because today is the day that it's supposed to get chilly. <laughs> y'all see what I did right there? Um, 60 degrees right now and it is, I don't know, probably noon. But they say in a couple of hours it's going to drop down in the 20s. That's a roller coaster for you. That's a big drop. Y'all know we don't, we don't do cold like that. Mm -mm, not in Texas. So, we got a little grocery shopping to do before it hits. So come on back and see what we're going to buy. Used to the city, now we got our own land. Life's getting real busy, busy. None of it was ever planned. Got the crib looking pretty, pretty. With a garden full of plants, plants. And we built our own committee, yeah. From the bottom we advanced, yeah. Back to our roots, roots. now we get back to our roots, yeah. Put on your boots, Put them on. it's time to go take off your suit. So. Back to our roots, yeah. yeah. Now we get back to our roots, yeah. Put on your boots, it's time to farm with Cheryl Swoops right now, right now, yeah, yeah. Right now, right now. Out at the chicken coop, guys. We're gonna put down a little more hay uh, in the run and we're gonna put down a little more wood chips and um, hay into the uh, coop because the temperature is supposed to drop into uh, like the the coals <laughs> 20 <laughs> 19 or 20 degrees yeah, next week yeah one day I think Thursday Thursday and Friday it's gonna be really cold for us not for you guys on the East Coast but for us so trade with y'all for a couple of days yeah so we're gonna put down some hay out here and then we're gonna put a little more wood chips and uh, hay in their coop. And so we had to trick them and give them some uh, <laughs> some, uh, some, treats. some treats. When they do that, I can go over here and close their run. And so they're trapped out. Sound like it's going to be All right. We're going inside. <laughs> we got one stuck in here. She tried to get out, and the door closed right on her back. <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> Y'all never gonna guess who we got out here feeding the chicken. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna turn you into a homesteader yet, girl. Or not? <laughs> I got a little light out here too. It keeps it. But don't be acting like I don't feed the chickens. Don't do that. Yeah, that's the first time you ever feed the chickens. Cut it off. Okay, maybe this go out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she goes out here and deal blue too. Mojo over there. Mojo over there. Mojo like mess with, uh, messing with the chicken because he like the eggs. So he just constantly comes out here and checks on the chicken. He check on chicken when you check on us. Yeah. Well, I know the chicken. They ain't gonna produce if you don't take care of them. You gotta take care of them. So we're gonna put this down. Um, we're putting down a little more uh, wood chips, and then we're gonna put a little hay on top of this just for um, the next few nights when they get cold, just so it's not too bad on them. All right, guys, we'll do that. We'll be back. All right, guys, we're done out here in the coop. We got a little hay in the nesting boxes. We put a little on the ground in case it gets cold and they need to just come down and kind of warm up. They'll have something to kind of bury in. So we got them out, filled up the feed, filled up the water, and they're set for next week when we get this cold weather. So everything's done out here. We're not gonna talk about the greens much, guys, because you know we about to put them in the pot. About to put them in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna get the greens off first, and then we'll go from there. So we're gonna fill the bucket up, and we'll be back. All right, guys, we got our Christmas Day greens. Now we're about to go check out the other aisles in the BTR store. All right, guys, we had two broccoli left, um, plants left that we didn't harvest. We have some more over there in the land yet garden, but these two weren't ready the other day when we harvested them, so we're going to get them today. Um, those are nice size. Bro 
Broccoli's so good. It smells like broccoli. Must be broccoli. Must be broccoli. Hmm. And that's the other one. So we got new, two new uh, heads of broccoli there, guys. Nice. All right, guys, we're back on aisle 14. Get some more cabbage. <laughs> this is a Wakefield cabbage we're getting today. Um, oh. They don't get round. They're more like the, uh, they're more like a uh, egg shape, but this one's ready. And we're about to have a freeze, so I surely don't want to leave it out here. Am I supposed to be able to break this? Yeah, just Or do I cut it? Because I'm breaking everything. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You take the leaves and leaves are just cabbage anyway. <laughs> you got it? Let me get it. But then I'm getting the whole thing. It's okay. You see? No, I'm going to cut it, y'all. Okay. I know somebody on there laughing at me. <laughs> This thing is tough. Yeah, it got a nice uh, little stem on it. But it's about to taste good in that pot. There Put him in the pot. There we go. All right, you got it harvested? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another side. Yeah, it came out good. That's going to be good. Yeah. Uh, all right, go and put a tag on that back to our roof, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Tag it. Yeah, go on tag it. Oh wait. Sorry, all my tags upside down. That, that's a BTR, ain't it? That's a number nine, baby. Listen, no chemicals. No chemicals. Straight number nine. No fours over here. Let we me, don't do no fours, baby. We do not do fours. Let fours. me stick the tag on for the register. <laughs> <laughs> my tag don't want to stick yeah. out, but this for the register. Yeah, that's for the FDA. Yeah, go on, take that to the counter, ma'am. They'll swipe that and they'll, they'll get check you right on out. <laughs> All right, guys. No fours over here. Put them in the pie. <laughs> All right, guys. Everything is done. We got some greens for Christmas Day. We have some broccoli. It's going to be cold until Sunday. So we're just going to get these today. And, um,. We'll clean them up and get them ready. But as you can see, we are ready to go. Number nine. <laughs> Before we go in, guys, we're going to cover up our plants. I have some green uh, freeze cloth, but that didn't work <laughs> uh, last year. We got five days of cold weather and it destroyed my, my garden. So I'm, I'm going to do my best to try to uh, protect it. So my wife found this. It's some... Um, it's some canvas, drop cloth canvas. It's for painters, for use, painters, use, but painters use it. We're about to try it. But we're going to try it. We're going to put that on and then put the, the green cloth over the top of that and see if it protects them. We got about 45 hours of straight uh, freezing temperature. So we're going to try to get through it, guys, and, uh, and, and save, our, uh, save our garden. So We shall see. We shall see. All right, guys. We're trying to get everything done out here. Um, this uh, drop cloth is actually warmer than the green uh, freeze cloth. It's, it's thicker. So we're putting that on first. As you can see, it's covering up the rows. We push the buckets a little closer uh, together, and uh, the cloth fit them perfectly. I think they're 15. What are they, 15 by? That one's a 4 by 15. 4 by 15, and the other one's 12 by 15. Yeah. So they fit them pretty good. So basically, we're going to put these over first and then put the green stuff over the top and hopefully that works. I don't know that it will, but we're going to give it a try. But we've got this one done. We got the buckets holding down the, um, the sides so they don't blow as much. But uh, the, uh, on this one, the, as you can see, the drop cloths already underneath it is on. So. All right, guys, let me show you how it looks when we're done. Everybody. Man, that was some work. <laughs> Y'all hear me breathing hard? <laughs> that was some work, but we got everything covered. Um, we had the almost the exact amount we needed to cover everything. Uh, we harvested cabbage, so that's gone. Uh, we got a couple of more bok choy. We're going to pull them 
right There's now. There's some wind, so we're going to see if they're holding. Yeah, if they're holding. <laughs> we're going to get these out right now and harvest these. But everything, the land yap is, is done. Y'all, we'll let you know how these, uh, what are they called? They're something cloth. They're drop, not drop paint, cloth. drop cloth. Yeah. Yeah. We'll let y'all know how they do. The crazy thing is, sorry, I should have told you this earlier, but I went to Lowe's the other day looking for some more of these um, freeze, thing. freeze blankets. They were all out. A lady was in line in front of me and she had some of these drop cloths. And so she sent me to the paint aisle. And luckily I was able to find just enough. So we'll let you know how they work. Yep. Don't forget to look for number nine when you go to the grocery store. Number nine, baby. <laughs> number nine. Put them in the pot. All right, everybody, we hope you have a very, 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 very Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all of those good things. Um, more than anything else, though, just stay safe. Enjoy time with your family, friends, and um, we will see you guys next time. So, everybody, like always, please stay safe, stay blessed, stay healthy, and we will see you next time on Back to Our Roots Homestead. See you on the other side, guys. Merry Christmas! Only nines, baby. Only nines. Back to our roots, back to our roots. Back to our roots.